Iranians are marking 24 years since the death of the founder of the Islamic Republic, Ayatollah Khomeini. The commemoration is taking place at his shrine in Tehran, and this event comes uh, 10 days before the crucial uh, presidential elections. Suraya Leni is in Tehran for us. She's covering uh, the commemoration, uh, Suraya. So as we're saying, coming 10 days before the elections in Iran, and we understand that Ahmadinejad himself is at the commemoration, but he hasn't been speaking. No, it, it was a rather awkward encounter for the president. He he sat there in Imam Khomeini's shrine 24 years since his death. Now, the president's really fallen out of favor with the ruling clerics, with those close to the supreme leader in the last couple of years, and it sort of showed today. He was seated next to the grandson of Ayatollah Khomeini, Hassan Khomeini, who is very influential here. The two men have had a very famous falling out starting four years ago when Hassan Khomeini actually backed the reformists against Ahmadinejad for the presidency. There was also the Larajani brothers, who the president has accused of corruption in the last six months. Hashimi Rafsanjani, the former president, who is a big uh, critic of Ahmadinejad's as well. Now, the president usually speaks the night before this commemoration, but he was silent. There was no such speech this year. And uh, Soraya, these uh, sanctions that have been announced uh, by the United States targeting Iran's uh, currency for the first time, uh, quite significant. Well, we've been speaking to analysts, and that's something that really does remain to be seen as in, in terms of the impact, because these sanctions target the real, as you mentioned, the trade of Iran's official currency, banks holding that currency as well. The United States has been talking them up. They credit their sanctions and these sanctions as, as well and hope it will have an effect on devaluing Iran's currency even further. It's devalued about 80 percent in the last two years, but analysts say most of that internally is due to government mismanagement, not so much the sanctions. So these sanctions will complement previous ones, including the European oil embargo, the central bank the central bank sanctions as well, which really have done some damage to Iran's economy, but it sort of remains to be seen how much impact these new U.S. sanctions are going to have. Right. Okay, Soraya, thank you. That's Soraya Lenny reporting from Tehran.